everyone, I'm Travis Atkinson, and I'm here today with Michiel von Freisweig, and we're going to be talking about the symposium that he'll be participating in on July 1st of the ISST World Conference in Vienna. That's taking place Friday in the afternoon from 3.15 to 4.45 p.m. The title of the symposium is Utilizing the Mode Model to Effectively Meet Worldwide Ever-Shrinking Psychotherapy Session Allowances, or can schema therapy be relatively brief? Michiel, welcome. Hi, Travis. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about yourself, and then we do a little sneak peek of your symposium. Okay. I'm Michiel van Feesch, a clinical psychologist and supervisor in uh, schema therapy, in individual therapy, in uh, schema group therapy. Mm -hmm. And um, I've written a couple of books. One international one, the 2012 handbook, with Marion Nadort and Jenny Broersen, mm -hmm. with a lot of people amongst you, for example, yeah. uh, being uh, writers uh, in this uh, beautiful book. Yeah. Great, great. I mean, there's so much that you could say, of course, about your experience in schema therapy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but so everyone. To be brief. I think everyone uses the handbook as almost the uh, the Bible of sorts for clinical work. Yeah, besides the one of Jeffrey, I hope. <laughs> well, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give a sneak peek preview on what you're going to be presenting at the conference? Yeah. For the symposium? Seth Hughes and uh, Rachel uh, Simpson uh, have uh, done a beautiful work with uh, Susan uh, Simpson on a uh, schema therapy uh, group uh, protocol for uh, mixed personality disorders. Mm -hmm. And I will be one of the uh, co-presenters uh, with them. And what we are going to present is um, the results of the focused uh, groups and the sessions um, which have been there with uh, patients in which patients were asked, what do you think of time-limited schema group therapy? And how was it for you to be in a brief uh, group therapy? Mm -hmm. What was the patient population of the study you're going to be presenting on? The patient population was a mixed uh, personality uh, disorder group. And um, one of the reasons we work with a mixed personality disorder group is that we think that it represents society in a sense that you have a lot of different people. Cluster C patients can learn from the less inhibited Cluster B patients, for example. Mm -hmm. So when you create a, um, a safe group atmosphere, and that's one of the, the main tasks which you do in the first five sessions, for example, um, you have a, a, a mini society, a, a mini family, as I uh, always explain it to patients, mm -hmm. in which you uh, can try to see whether you can cope in a different way with your schemas and your modes. Mm -hmm. Well, what does the treatment program look like? Well, the first five sessions are about establishing relationships in the group, um, making it in a small family and therapy family with the therapist as kind of parents. Mm -hmm. um, it's about uh, giving education on schemas and modes and on needs. Uh, how you can recognize when your schema or mode is triggered. Mm -hmm. And um, after uh, session five, we're more going to do um, experiential work and some cognitive uh, techniques, um, which are part of schema therapy. Mm -hmm. Specifically for uh, this group of patients, uh, a lot of exercises around detached protector, for example. Mm -hmm. And Michiel, you'll be presenting together, as you said, with Sally Skews and Rachel Sampson. Yeah. You worked with, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they were the, the therapists of the group. Mm -hmm. and Susan Simpson was their uh, supervisor, mm -hmm. and uh, I was uh, the other uh, supervisor. I see. Anything else you want to mention to give a little sneak peek of what you'll be presenting at the symposium? Well, I, I, I think it's, it's nice to have a lot of information about um, time-limited schema therapy and in particular time-limited 
schema group therapy mm -hmm. because this is a quite a new uh, field in schema therapy. A lot of the schema therapy studies are uh, about more long-term schema therapy, while some parts of the world it's even not possible to do a long-term therapy. Right. So we have to look for alternatives and we have to explore this. Being able to adapt in different situations and environments. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Well, great, Michiel. So will be accessible to more people. Yes, to be more and more accessible. Michiel, thank you very much for the sneak peek of the symposium. Again, You're that'll welcome. be titled Utilizing the Mode Model to Effectively Meet Worldwide Ever-Shrinking Psychotherapy Session Allowances or Can Schema Therapy Be Relatively Brief? That's taking place Friday, July 1st at the ISST World Conference in Vienna. This selection is in the afternoon from 3.15 to 4.45 p.m. See you in Vienna. Okay, see you there.